You want to hate me? Go ahead. Maybe I deserve it, maybe I don't, but I don't exploit children, and there are no drugs in my territory. And no strip clubs. And no prostitution in the casinos you own. Nobody's underage. I never said I was a saint. So that excuses you taking whatever you want and killing or terrorizing? That's it right. gets in your way? That is right. Oh, That's please. how I live. So be careful. But I never took anything from Brenda. You took her sanity. No, I loved her. The first time I saw her, I loved her. She loved me. And I told her how dangerous it was to be with me. <laughs> because that would just make you more irresistible. Brenda wanted to believe that we could have a life together, that she believed that our love was so big that it could overcome anything. And for a while, I believed it too, because Brenda gave me hope. She made me happier than I've ever been. Gentlemen. Who is it? It's Jax. Hey. hey. <laughs> Come in. Um, shouldn't one of these guys be inside with you? Uh, that's, it's all right. I'm okay. Okay. I haven't seen you in a minute. Carly got you on a short leash? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> Does she know you're here? She's the reason why I'm here. She asked you to come see me? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Um, she's uh, having a very bad reaction to your reappearance, actually. Why? I don't know. I mean, she's usually not insecure, but you seem to be the exception. Um, well, um, look. <laughs> I mean, this is a tough situation for me. The truth is that uh, you and I would be married if she hadn't have come to you and completely exaggerated the story when in fact what she really saw was just me kissing Sonny goodbye. Yeah. Carly could see straight through me even then. She knew how devastated I was when I thought I lost you to Sonny. I need to, I need to talk to you. Oh, I just started this job. You can't be talking to people unless they are just something. It's okay. My organization has an arrangement with Coleman. So he pays you for protection? You must be very proud of yourself. Taking money from a working man. Come on, I need to go over what happened when you are being held by the Balkans. I already told you. Yeah, well, tell me again. Now that you had a little time to think about it. Why would I want to think about being kidnapped and smacked around? I haven't told you what I know. Leave it at that. You, know, you got closer to the Balkan than any of us. And what you remember can save a life. Maybe luckies. To Sin City. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too bad we aren't going to be married much longer. Yeah, I guess we better make the most of it, huh? Oh. <laughs> Eureka! I found a mobile attorney. It's almost over. Is uh, this the couple in question? Way to go, Dodge. I told you to stay away from the minibar. Uh, you're the mobile attorney, aren't you? Yes, I handle most simple procedures in a matter of hours, assuming you meet the criteria. Right. Um, about that, if we... Can we still get the marriage? I really don't see what the big deal is, you know, I was just giving the lovely lady a back massage. idea that I understand a fair amount of Croatian. They're pretty careless with the phone calls. What'd you hear? Not much that you don't already know. The Balkan wanted Brenda alive. He wanted to ask her something. But do you have any idea what that was? None at all. I don't think the thugs did either. But they did get one call that was different. They're speaking in English, or at least trying to. It was pretty cryptic. Could you tell what they were talking about? I mean, do you remember any names? No, I did. Now that I think about it, what they were talking about it had something to do with a man named Jack. Mm. Well, well. 
stand here waiting for Carly. I'm gonna have a ringside seat while I rip her hair out. I'm actually waiting for you. Mm, likely story. I don't have I want to apologize for upsetting you. We got nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. You know what? It's not that fine for me, John. Okay? I love you. I love you. I need to know exactly what Carly's getting you involved in. Why are you spending all this time with her? I was doing a favor for her, that's it. A favor? I need to know exactly what you and Carly did tonight. What do you want me to say? That I, that, that I was wrong to fall in love with Brenda? Would be a start. Well, you know, I couldn't really see how badly I hurt her, because we were, We were so connected, you know. I didn't see the damage, but I, I, now I see how fragile she is. And uh, okay, I see. I see it now. The life that Brenda has built could fall apart any minute. Don't make a bad situation worse. The kindest thing you could do for her, the most loving, would be to leave her alone. So we agreed that things worked out a little best for both of us. Oh, did they? I wouldn't change my life for anything. I'm committed to Carly. But I don't have illusions about her that she's threatened by you and that makes it dangerous. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> after everything that I've just been through, are you telling me that I should be threatened by Carly you or afraid of Carly? I shouldn't, no, you just shouldn't underestimate her, okay? What could Carly possibly ever do to hurt me? She's digging for dirt in your past. See, uh, your driver will take you to the airport. He saved me. I was just doing my job. Yeah, I don't know why you helped me, but thank you. You're, uh, you're gonna miss your plane? Yeah. Your past with Brenda. Right 